when John Ridgway and Stephen R. Bissett came up with the idea of creating a new character for Swamp Thing that looked suspiciously like Sting and pitched it to Alan Moore, they had no clue just how popular the character would eventually become. Before you checked yourself in here three months ago, you were working as an exorcist, demonologist, and master of the dark arts. That says master, does it? Well, I should really change that to petty dabbler I hate to put on as. John Constantine, a trench-coated, silk-cut smoking, arcane trickster full of knowledge and bitterness, and shadowed by his past mistakes and regrets. His bluntness and cunning gets him by, not his prowess in the otherworldly and the magical, which is impressive, just not his most outstanding feature. His street smarts allow him to bypass the majority of normal society, apart from renting a place, paying the bills, mostly cigarette costs, and dealing or running from the police when he gets into compromising situations, something he does on a regular basis. Stay away. It's easier to deny danger than to face it, but make no mistake, if you don't listen to me, you'd be dead by morning. I'm calling the police. If you're so committed to contacting the authorities, then here's where they can reach me. Or you can, if you enjoy breathing. He is an everyman, an occult detective from a working class background, trying to get by while, as he would say, trying to deal with the shit of it all. He is such an intriguing character. A simple soul, who is relatable and recognisable. The odd job comes his way from time to time, but nothing regular. He rarely gets thanked for what he does. His morality is questionable at times, because he cares too much about his own skin, and yet he always tries to do the right thing. His flaws outweigh his good qualities, but this is what makes him human, and this is what makes him the everyman. He is often arrogant, getting involved in things way above his head, but managing to find a way to succeed, using his wits. Oh, bollocks. I'm addressing the entity inside. Who are you? Tell me your name. He is addicted to getting into danger, unraveling something terrible and beating it no matter the cost. A cost, unfortunately, which often involves the lives of his friends. She did it. And sometimes, this really makes the reader question whether they like this character or not. You hear that? I'm okay. So flap off. You're not okay, John. You damned a girl to hell. And along with it, your soul. In the next part, we will look at whether his character is a hero or an anti-hero, looking into it in a little bit more depth. Also, before we finish, I've got two things further to add. First of all, in my mind, Matt Ryan captures the essence of this conflicted character, and it'll be interesting to see how it develops in the future, and hopefully it won't turn out to be another Firefly fiasco. If you're really interested in John Constantine as a character, I highly recommend you to go out and get, buy or rent, a copy of Hellblazer Original Sins. It's the first set of stories collected together, and it really gives you this essence of what this character truly was when it was first conceived. I will leave a link down in the description below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you have any questions or any of your own comments on the character of John Constantine, then please let me know in the comments below. Um, otherwise, subscribe so you don't miss regular content every Tuesday related to writing, storytelling, character reviews, book reviews, and all sorts, including role-playing too. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. What's on?